part three, y'all. Solve algebraically for x. Two times x minus four is greater than or equal to one half of five minus three x. First thing I did right there is I distributed. I did the two times the x gave me two x, and two times the four gave me eight, and there was a minus sign in between, so I kept that. So two x minus eight. One half times five. 2.5, 1 half times 3x, 1.5x, keep the minus sign. Then, you want to add 1.5x to both sides, <coughs> and then I'll cancel out the minus 1.5x on the right side, and now your x terms will all be pushed to the left side. So then you'll just have 3.5x. Well, let's push our constant terms over to the other side. We see a minus 8 on the left side? We can do a plus 8, so that way we'll have the two constants, the 2.5 and the 8, on the right side, and there will be no more constants on the left side. And that will just give me 10.5. Okay, so now 3.5x is greater than or equal to 10.5, and then I just divide both sides by 3.5, and I get x is greater than or equal to 3. Now, if you got up to the step of 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 2.5 minus 1.5x and you decided not to push the x terms to the left side but to push the x terms to the right side well then what you would have had to do is you would have had to do minus 2x and minus 2x and this is fine, it will give you the right answer <coughs> the 2x and the 2x will cancel out and this will give you a minus 3.5x and then we want to push the 2.5 over to the left side, so we got to do a minus 2.5. And now that pushes the constant terms over to the other side, so they'll give us a minus 10.5. It has to be greater than or equal to a minus 3.5x. But then you got to be careful, because if you decide to now divide both sides by negative 3.5, this statement, this entire thing right here, is technically wrong because whenever you divide by a negative, you have to switch the sign of an inequality. So now it's correct. Now the negative 3.5s cancel, and now the negatives cancel, and now I get 3 is less than or equal to x. In other words, x is greater than or equal to 3. So that's the same answer. But you got to make sure you switch the sign whenever you divide by a negative, or multiply by a negative for that matter.